Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie. And do you want really cool hair like me? Make a brush out of crayons. Is your phone case super lame? Well, just grab some crayons and melt those suckers on there. Wanna know how to light your ice cream on fire? Well, this is the perfect video for you. Because today, we're gonna be trying 12 funny pranks and life hacks with crayons. And I'm all out of crayons, so it looks like I gotta go to the store really quick to get some more. <laughs> Uh, where's my face mask? Have you ever wanted to make a giant crayon? Well, now you can. All you gotta do is cut apart some crayons, put them in a little bowl, microwave that bad boy, get yourself one of those little baking funnel thingies, pour the melted crayons into a pastry bag, just layer that bad boy up, take the hardened wax out of the bag, cut off that tip, print out a Crayola wrapper, get yourself a paper funnel, wrap the logo around the paper funnel, and you got yourself a crayon. Looks pretty simple, let's try it. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna start off with is the, the tip. <laughs> Always start with the tip, that's a good place to start. So they said to use a pastry bag, but I don't really have a pastry bag, I only have, you know, these Ziploc bags. But I think it might get a little bit too wide too fast, plus I'm pretty sure it would probably melt through this bag. We'll try it just to give it the benefit of the doubt. So we'll cut it like that. I don't have a clear cup, so I'm just gonna use this wine glass. Put this in here, just like that. Maybe, yeah, that should that should work. Yeah, perfect. Oh my god, I just broke my freaking wine glass. I really have to learn to be more careful with these. Can I just like... There we go. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. You put it up a little bit higher. There we go. Perfect. Then we get our crayon. I forgot to take the paper off. There we go. That's better. Then we get our blowtorch and then just start heating up the crayons. Yum. This smells wonderful. Yeah, it looks good so far. Not bad. We have a little tip. Then we get ourselves some orange. Then we get our yellow. Get some green in there. And then I think we're just going to mix blue and purple together. They're like basically the same color. You can kind of see the layers in there. Now we let this cool down for a little bit. Okay, so I ended up adding a couple more layers to it because it didn't seem like it would be thick enough to fit inside of our tube. Now it is. It's actually a little too big now, but that's fine. I can always like, you know, carve a little bit off. That's not a big deal. I'm gonna push this in since the wax is like still kind of hot. Maybe mold it to the shape of this. Yeah. Okay, now we're gonna carefully take this out. Oh, whoa. That's kind of cool. Dang, I almost want to just keep this. This is like a sick looking rock. Have you guys ever watched Digimon? This kind of looks like a Digimon like evolution stone thing. I don't even know what it's called. Anyway, let's just fit that inside of here. Yeah. Oh no, it's breaking. Yeah. That's our crayon tip. Oh no. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about this, guys. I think I, I should have let this cool down a little bit more. Dang. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this tin foil and I'm gonna make it into kind of like a cone shape so that I have more of a tip looking thing instead of just a messed up rock kind of thing. There we go. Maybe something like that. Okay, now back to the drawing board. Okay, I guess I'm gonna have to melt some more crayons. Okay, right, guys, so here it is. I actually put some ice inside the wine glass so that it'll cool faster. It took like two hours to cool last time and I didn't want to wait for it. Anyway, let's see how it turns out. Oh, oh my gosh. Looks like the tin foil leaked a little bit, but that's okay. Oh, oh, yes! Wow, it actually worked! You can't really see the different colors. It's all kind of one color, but that's fine. I think I'm gonna go ahead and sand it down a little bit so that it's, it's more smooth and not as rocky looking. Okay guys, it's just kind of getting into the sandpaper, and then it stops working. So I guess this is kind of probably about as good as we're gonna get. Now we gotta put this thing and this thing. Oh no. Dude, I'm never gonna be happy at this point. Like, this thing is just messed up. Now I have to cut it down, so I have to cut it right there. Let's see if this will work. This feels so dangerous. I'm just gonna use a knife. No! Okay, I can fix this. I can fix this. Wow, it looks cool on the inside though. Uh, no! Dude, this is the worst. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and break out my trusty hot glue gun. Hopefully this will make it stay together. If not, I am completely, I'm completely lost on this one. No! I don't think my hot glue gun is hot enough. It's not hot enough, Copton. There we go. Ah! Why is this not working? Maybe, just maybe, I can melt it back together. No, no, yes! No! Ah! 
Okay, now for the tip. Holy crap. Now we're gonna attempt to hot glue this onto this. I know it's not the prettiest thing, but uh, it's fine. Get my blowtorch, kind of melt that together even more. There we go. Yes. Hopefully this will do it. Dude, this looks so bad. <laughs> no, it came off. Holy crap. This melted on. Ah! Dude, this does not want to stay. Okay, what am I doing wrong? I'm just gonna go ahead and let this cool upright for a little bit. Ah! Okay, so, uh, I mean, it's it's not the most pretty thing, but it's on there, and that's all that matters. We're gonna go ahead and tape our crayon label onto this guy. Gently tape this on. Oh my gosh. No! It fell off! Dude, how are you supposed to attach this? They literally don't say, they just say put it in there. Well, we got this on, so that has to count for something, right? Yes. There we go. Yeah! Okay, this is the ugliest crayon I've ever seen. Well guys, I'm gonna have to say it, this one doesn't really work. Like, how the heck are you supposed to get the tape on this thing? It makes literally no sense. Anyway, this is theirs, this is mine. Uh, not the prettiest, not very, it doesn't work very well. Zero out of 10, would not recommend this one. Maybe if I melted a giant crayon and just put it inside? Ooh, let me know down in the comments if you guys think I should just do that. Anyway. Okay right, guys, so for this one, we're gonna be learning how to make some ice cream candles, I think. First you cut up your candle, put it into a little bowl, put in a little bit of pink crayon, melt that bad boy up in a microwave and pour it into a fancy ice cream glass. But don't forget the wick. Mix it up, mix, mix, mix. Then you scoop it out, plop it right on top right there, sprinkle on some crayon shavings, and boopity boop, there you go, you got yourself an ice cream candle. Honestly, I bet that smells awful because it's mostly crayon. Okay guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and grate up some candles really quick. I got these uh, Skittle scented ones. Ooh, yummy. I don't know how. Oh, how am I gonna get it out? Maybe I just scoopity scoop. Oh, that works. Not bad. Dude, nice. And now I have this cool little cup thing. I grate all this wax. Dude, this stuff is so awful. I think this is gonna take a while and I have all these other candles I have to do. So uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll just do this and I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, so my hands actually got really tired of like grating stuff like this. It's a lot of like pressure on your hands to hold something so slippery, uh, so tightly for so long. So I ended up just getting some pliers and then just kind of squishing the candles into small chunks. You know what, it's good enough. Okay, now it's time to melt this bad boy. Turn on our stove. Okay, now we just have to wait for this to melt. Okay, our wax is all melted. Now we're gonna go ahead and pour it in our cup. I got the skull mug to make Tori like a fancy ice cream sundae a while ago, and now we're making Tori a fancy ice cream sundae candle. We're truly going full circle now. Here we go. Please don't get everywhere. Please don't get everywhere. Oh my God. Dude, that like barely even freaking filled it. It only got like halfway, because I need to save some for like the actual ice cream scoops. Well, it's good enough for now. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this solidify, and uh, then I'm gonna keep mixing this like the instructions said. Okay, this looks pretty good. Uh, now I have to mix it up a little bit. Oh, still a little bit goopy. Wow, this looks cool. So I guess I just have to mix this until it kind of like cools down. That looks a little bit more like ice cream, actually. I kind of like this. Okay, yeah, that's not bad. Now we go ahead and get our ice cream. Scoop. scoop up a nice piece of ice cream and then boop. No, it doesn't want to like clump together. I'm gonna try a regular spoon. Oh, I hate touching this stuff. This doesn't even look like ice cream anymore. I'm gonna let these guys fully cool down and harden and then uh, go ahead and put it inside of our skull. Okay, so now our candles are nice and hardened. Uh, here is our skull. Unfortunately, it looks like it made like a weird hole in the middle. I don't know why it did that. That is that is super weird. But I used these sticks to help hold up the wicks so they didn't fall inside the wax. I think it's kind of fun because instead of ice cream now, it's actually brains that are going inside the skull. How cool is that? Now we just poke a little hole in the candle and then we put our wick in. There we go. Wow. So now our skull has some brains. It turned out a little bit weird, but um, I mean, it still freaking works and it turned out really cool. I'm probably gonna give this to Tori. Well, it's time to clean up my mess. Hey, have you ever been with your bros and you just you just want to push them? Just freaking push them back. <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't even know. Why, why are they pushing each other? I don't understand. Have you ever pushed your friend and then they spill coffee on your other friend? And they're like, hey, I'm stealing these freaking crayons. Well, little do they know that she's gonna use those crayons for something else. She's gonna make a shirt. Stop being so dirty minded. Just get your crayons, put them through a grater, take your stencil and put it on the shirt, outline the shirt with crayons, put some parchment paper over it and then iron it on. And now you have this awesome shirt. Yeah. <laughs> Oh no. Okay, so here are our crayons. Here's our grater. Let's grate some crayons. Let's see what color do I want. Uh, I think I'm just gonna do red for this one. We're gonna make a red craft shirt. Okay, so I'm also gonna go ahead and put some paper underneath. That way it'll catch it. Here we go. Oh man, this grater is gonna be so gross when I'm done. <laughs> Yeah, that looks pretty good. Not bad. Put this off to the side for a second. And now we're gonna cut out our stencil. They did a Wonder Woman logo with three different colors. Uh, I'm just gonna do this, cause I like to keep it simple. I put this piece of wood underneath so I don't mess up my table. Aha, we're done. Sick. Now we're gonna take our shirt and then put this piece of wood inside the shirt. That way it doesn't go through to the other side. Put our stencil right there. That seems like it's a good spot. And then we very carefully put our crayon on top of it. Then we go ahead and get our parchment paper and put it on top. Now it's time to iron this bad boy. Oh, that is melting so fast. Okay. Whoa. Ah, I missed the T. Okay, you guys ready for the big reveal? In three. Two, one! Oh no. Dude, it just bled into the rest of the shirt. Ugh. If I get some white crayon, can I just color this in? <gasps> I can! Whoa. Well, it kind of works. Yeah. Uh, well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one uh, kind of works. It doesn't look like it comes out very like practical and I'm pretty sure if I put this in my dryer it would completely ruin it. Along with all the other clothes I put in the dryer. So I'm gonna go ahead and say that this one doesn't really work. Is your hairbrush lame? Does it not give you enough color when you brush your hair? Oh man, I just hate it when that happens. Well, I have a solution for you. All you gotta do is take your old lame hairbrush, cut off all those lame bristles, take apart a bunch of useless old crayons, and then just start gluing them on there. And there you go, you have yourself an awesome new brush. Yay, I can't wait to try this one. Okay guys, so here's our hairbrush. First thing we gotta do is pull this bristle thing off, I think. And, ah, uh, yes, it worked. Uh, there we go, cool. Then we go ahead and get our crayons. Let's see, how many should I get? Probably gonna need like, probably gonna need a lot actually. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Okay, so now I gotta cut them so that they're all the same size. Yeah, that seems like, uh, maybe a little bit shorter. Yeah, that looks like a good size. Now do the rest of them. Oh my gosh, this is a lot harder than I thought it would be. Okay, now for these guys. Okay, there we go. Don't need these guys anymore. Now we're gonna take our hot glue gun and our brush and just start uh, gluing these bad boys on there. One down, many more to go. Yes, it's perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and fill it completely with glue. That way it's nice and solid. Sweet, now we just have to wait for this guy to cool down. Okay, and here it is, our finished hairbrush. Honestly, I kinda wanna try writing with this. Let's see how it works. You ready? I'm gonna write my name. Well, that didn't work very well. <laughs> but does it work as a hairbrush? Let's find out, shall we? Here we go. Let's hope that this doesn't ruin my hair. Ready, one, two, and. First brush, not too bad. Wow, this is actually a great brush. I haven't brushed my hair in months. Who would have thought that you could actually make a hairbrush out of crayons? It didn't give me an actual colored stripe like they said it would, but it does kind of brush my hair. But probably not any better than how the brush originally was with the bristles, uh, but I guess we can still say that it works. Have you ever been to a fancy restaurant and they ask you for dessert? You're like, oh, no way, I got my crayon, it's delicious. But little does a waiter know, you're eating some bomb ass chocolate. Get yourself a boba straw and hot glue that bad boy to your table. Put a little bit of food dye inside of a melted white chocolate. Then you pour your white chocolate inside the boba straw. Get yourself a good old pencil sharpener and sharpen that bad boy up. Don't forget the crayon wrapper. And there you go, you got yourself some chocolate crayons. Now you can look as crazy as you want in public and no one, well, let's face it that everyone's probably gonna stare at you. Well, that's a point, isn't it? Okay, so here's our parchment paper. Here's our boba straw. 
I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this down a little bit. Boop, and then we're gonna glue it to parchment paper, just like that. I'm gonna do a couple of them because I feel like I'm gonna mess up. Boop, and here's another one. Perfect. Now we're gonna get our white chocolate and add our food coloring. Boop, boop, boop. And we mix, mix, mix. Ooh, we have a nice, pretty pink. I kind of like how that turned out. I was kind of going for a pink too. Okay, now for the hard part. Getting it inside of these straws without like getting it everywhere. I think I need to microwave this more. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, I already know this is gonna get everywhere. Oh, come on. Dude, how do they expect you to get chocolate inside of such a small like thing? I'm gonna use a stick to push it down there. Oh, that helped a lot actually. Come on, spoon that in there. Is this chocolate just not freaking hot enough? Like, is this chocolate not hot enough for you? <gasps> okay, I nuked it for another minute. Let's hope this does it. Wow. Dude, it just doesn't want to go inside. Maybe like that. <laughs> Oh, wow. Let's do this. It's gonna be a long process. What is that, hot glue? Dude, I don't know if I can even get this inside of there. Chocolate does not melt like that, I don't think. Does it? Like, how do you get it so, like, liquidy so that it would, like, just flow inside of the straw like that? What the heck? Oh! Dude, that hurts so bad. This chocolate is literally like boiling. Just a drop of it got on my finger and it hurts so bad. Is that doing it? Dude, I'm wasting so much chocolate on this. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and let this monstrosity cool down and then I'm gonna try and take it apart and see if it becomes a crayon. Guys, okay, so it's been like 20 minutes and the stuff still pretty goopy. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the freezer and see if that does anything. Okay, and this is what, uh, <laughs> oh no. It got a little knocked over in the fridge, so now it's frozen like this. But that's okay. I just have to be really careful. Ah! Ah! The chocolate broke off and it hit me in the eye. Oh my god. <laughs> Now I have to carefully remove the chocolate crayon. Am I gonna do it? <gasps> oh my gosh. It's actually coming off. No! Did I just break it? I heard a crack. And no! My crayon broke in half. Whoa. Also, it's hollow. That's kind of cool. Maybe the other one turned out a little better. I'm gonna actually start off by cutting it right here. Let's hope I don't regret that. Now we're going to cut off the straw part. I wonder if I can just blow it out. <sighs> nope, that's not gonna happen. Okay, real careful. No! Dude! Ah! It fell apart again. All freaking fell apart. Okay, I have this this one. So I'm just gonna go ahead and maybe try and put this on this. Carefully remove the wrapper. There we go. And then put that back in there. Yeah. I think I'm gonna cut this off so that you can see the Crayola part. And then there we go. Yeah. And there's our chocolate crayon. It's a little messed up. How about a sharpen the tip? I'm gonna sharpen the tip. Oh, and it just broke in half. Well, guys, I'm gonna say that this one uh, doesn't really work all that great. You have to like get the chocolate to a certain consistency when you heat it up. Otherwise, it just becomes really brittle. So I'm gonna have to say that this one kinda works. You ever just walk into a room and you see your friend on the floor with their phone inside of a straightener? Yeah. That's never happened to me either, actually. So this is how you make yourself a fun phone case. You get your crayons, glue them to a piece of cardboard like that, and then you get a hair dryer and let them kind of drip down. We've all done this one before. That's the best art project there ever was. Go ahead and cut those drippies out. And you cover it with some clear nail polish. And there you go. Now you got a cool phone case. So here's our cardboard. Here are our crayons. We're just going to go ahead and lay this out into a rainbow shape. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. There it is. Cool. We have all these bad boys. And we're going to go ahead and hot glue them to this pe- Oh my god. Thank you to anyone who said bless you during this video. Now we're gonna go ahead and hot glue them to this piece of cardboard. Looks pretty good. Now we're gonna go ahead and let the hot glue cool down. Now that's cooled down. Break out our hair dryer. And just melt this bad boy. I feel like I need to put it on something a little bit more flat. Yeah, that should be good. Prop it up just like this. Ah! Pencil sharpener's not working. Maybe a little bit of duct tape. Then use this to hold it up like that. I need to tape this to my duct tape so that it stays up. I will get this to work. Just watch. Ah! Yes! And this is what it looks like from the bottom. We just got our box on top of our tape. And there's this guy. Okay, hair dryer, time to do your thing. I mean, it looks 
looks really cool. Oh my gosh. But it doesn't quite look like the video. I'm not sure what I did wrong, but dang, that does look really awesome actually. Maybe melt a little bit more. The blue's not like coming out very well right here, and I don't know why. Okay, yeah, that turned out a lot better. I'm a lot happier with that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and let this cool down for a little bit and harden, and then uh, we'll do a little bit of snip snip. Okay, this bad boy is all cooled down. So we're gonna go ahead and cut it out. There we go. I mean, it's not the most clean looking. Maybe I'm gonna round out these edges a little bit. Yeah, that looks a little better. Sweet. These crayons look a little bit funky now, so I wonder if I can actually replace them with new ones. Yeah? How you guys feeling about this? Hmm. I think I need smaller crayons. Yeah. What if I just glue them right on top of them? I don't know how I'd get these out without ruining this part, because this part looks really good. Let's see. Can I do it? Just carefully break it off. Oh, man. Oh, cool. Yeah, now we just, uh, red, orange, yellow. Oh, that's my purple. Purple. Yeah. I noticed that their case didn't have the actual full crayons on there. They just kind of cut them off. And I thought that looked kind of lame. So, yeah, this is definitely a lot better. Now to glue these guys on. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Dang, that looks pretty cool, actually. I'm not upset with that. Now we just have to hot glue it to our phone. I don't have a phone case, uh, and you know what they say, YOLO, am I right? Just like that, put it directly onto our iPhone. That's how we do it here. And carefully, carefully, we did it! Woo! That looks great! That looks awesome! And then we just cover this guy with some clear coat. Okay, I really hope that this is clear coat. It's kind of ambiguous, it doesn't tell me what it is, but, you know, I'm sure it's fine. Wow, it makes it so shiny! That's fun. Okay, awesome! I'm gonna go ahead and let that Try. Oh, you guys know it's our favorite part of the video where we regret the thumbnail! Woo! Okay, so here's ours. Break out our straightening iron. And just put it like that. And then they just kind of. Boopity boop. Oh! Maybe like up a little bit. Yes. I think like that should be good actually. Do it from this angle. Let's see, how's this look? Oh. Yeah, we'll do it. Oh, yeah, something like that. I uh, do it. watching the video. If you liked it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. It looks like this part right down there. If you guys want to watch me try even more fun life hacks and crafts, I have a whole playlist that you can be doing that right here. If you guys are new, make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you guys want to see clips of brand new videos before they come out, you can subscribe to my clips channel. Okay, guys, love you so much. I'll see you guys again real soon. Peace, love, and Wi-Fi. I